Hello, and welcome to our virtual fundraiser. I'm Katherine Lewis, a therapist here at HopeNet. Welcome to day two of our five days of focus. Today, we will be talking about counseling in a pandemic. This day is sponsored by the following sponsor. Hi, I'm JoLynn Bright, Program Director here at HopeNet. The other day when I was driving down the street, a question popped in my mind. Is there a place in the city where hope can still be found? And it just popped in my head again. Yes, it's HopeNet right in the center of the city. Some of you may be wondering, what has it been like to offer coaching and counseling services in a pandemic. It reminds me of one of my favorite stories in our history, Lewis and Clark, the expedition that launched out in 1803 and took clear until 1806. And I love the name of their vessel, the Corps of Discovery, trying their best to find a passage, passageway west to the Pacific Ocean. When they reached the Continental Divide, that was where they figured out, oh no, we can no longer use boats. We are gonna need horses. And because they saw the Rocky Mountains, it was uncharted territory for them. But yet they knew that if they kept going, they would find new open doors for commerce. My motto throughout this whole time has been, we've never been this way before. What we left with when we had to exit the building was a skilled team and also a passion for the adventure, willingness to adapt and change to meet the challenge, and also hope for the future. There were just some things that we saw along the way, like this staff that was together at that time when the pandemic hit, and I just said it was for such a time as this that this group is together. We were interested in good client care and making sure that we wouldn't get burnt out, trying to deliver services in a different way. Some of the client needs um, as we went along, is a, that was our main concern. They really needed a safe place to process their concerns about what was going on and their fears. They also had to find a confidential space to do this, this work that they had been doing. And for most of them, it was at their home. Some of them, it was in their car. HopeNet services to remain a resource for them was very, very important to them because the times were so uncertain. And has anybody said the word technology lately? I wanna say it over and over again. Our clients really had to navigate the technology piece along with us also doing the same thing with them. It required that they be flexible and also adaptable to what the new was going to be while we were out of the building. Real possibilities around continued healing and growth was uh, paramount to them. Am I still going to be able to get well over a laptop or on a cell phone? The staff, it seemed as if we just were united in mission and purpose and our main focus were the, our clients, 
Like, how are we going to continue to see them? How are we going to continue to serve them? And did I say this before? Technology. Big deal. It was a big deal, but we had what we needed. And the staff, too, had to be flexible and also adaptable to the new. Thank you for watching. If you or someone you know would benefit from our services, please don't hesitate to connect with us. You can visit our website or give us a call. This information will be available at the end of this video. Join us tomorrow for day three of our five days of focus as we focus on poverty and mental health. You'll learn about one of our programs, the Getting Ahead Workshop, and how it transforms lives within our community. Thank you again to our wonderful sponsor.